got a second? Uh, sure. I took your advice, and I went to Blair. I asked her if she knew anything that had gone on between Dorian and her sisters when they were kids. And, uh, did she? I'm not sure. She was very protective of Addie. It seems your aunt took the death of Blair's baby extremely hard. That, plus her usual confusion about their childhood, makes her a pretty poor source of information. Oh, I was afraid of that. But Blair made another suggestion. Really? What? That your father might know something. I don't think Herb knows anything more than we do. Uh, she meant your biological father. David Rinaldi. Blair said that. I, mean, I hadn't even thought about him. I mean, it's true he, he was... Well, he knew Mom when she was very young. He, I think that he was her first serious relationship. And um, I would assume... Yeah, one should never assume when it comes to mother. You're telling me. But it, it does stand to reason that she would have shared some of those details of her life with him before she learned to become so guarded about whatever it is. What is it? I don't know, but whatever it is, just us presuming to discuss it sent it through the roof. Oh, well, she's so nuts on us. I mean, after you left, she told me to... Keep my nose out of her business. Oh, there's a mandate for you. Uh, under normal circumstances, I would have accepted it. I mean, I've asked her to do the same thing more than once. But at least I know what my reaction is. My father dying and then ten months later, my wife. She knows that too, if that helps. Well, on the other hand, I have no idea what's troubling her. I don't think she does either. Probably not, because she's the original queen of denial. And then whenever I bring it up, she has such a violent reaction to it that it makes me think that it's too important not to look at. I mean, if it upsets her that much, shouldn't she just unearth it and, and, and work it out? Yes. Yeah. Well, but Dorian doesn't want to do the digging, so I feel I ought to. Unless, as her daughter, you tell me that I'm way out of line. Mel, you're not out of line. I mean, I, I have seen mothers overreactions for myself, and Blair's seen them too. I think that whatever's disturbing her, we need to find out about it. Tell me about David Rinaldi. I'm sorry, is this, is this okay for you to be discussing this? Yeah, it's fine. I, I, I don't know where to begin. Well, Blair said that... Um, she thought that Dorian and David lived together while Dorian was uh, in med school. Yes, in Ohio. He was going by the name David Reynolds then. And Blair said that he was a musician? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he is. He was always interested in music, and Mother's mother was a composer, so they had an early bond between them. Was it uh, unusual at that time for them not to get married when they found out that Dorian was pregnant? After I was born, um, David wanted to marry Mother. Why didn't they? Mother was pursuing a medical degree, and having a child and a husband, all that domesticity would interfere with her plans. So they broke up? And after Mother refused his proposal, he packed us up and we left Ohio. Wow. So he raised you? No. No. He left me with his mother while he went to Europe to pursue a career in classical music. What was that like, being raised by your grandmother? <laughs> you know, are you interviewing me? Of course of habit. <laughs> I loved my grandmother. When she died, I... I came to Landview to find my mother. A couple of years later, David showed up. He was going by the name David Rinaldi then. He was touring the country as a classical pianist. Of course, we didn't know it at the time, but he was also a spy. <laughs> well, wait, you're making this up. No. Oh, I'm not. He married a woman named Jenny Jansen and... He had to leave the country. Because of the spy business? Yeah, but then he, um, it all worked out, you know, so the CIA let him out of his deal, and he got to settle in Salzburg, 
He wanted to be near the spirit of his muse. Uh, which would be uh, Mozart. Exactly. <laughs> Do you keep in touch with him at all? An occasional birthday card or Christmas card. But I, uh... I haven't spoke to him in a long time. Sounds like that bothers you. Actually, it does. He's a lovely man. I wish I knew him. Um, would it be all right if I, um... If I made a call and uh, said that you suggested it? Let me call him. Well, uh, do you want to get involved? <laughs> I am involved. He's my biological father. Yeah, but if you make the call and then Dorian finds out I've been uh, plowing around in her deep buried past. He's still my father. There's no, there's nothing odd about my trying to reach him. I just, I just want you to be careful. If Dorian finds out and she gets angry, then I want to take the heat on this, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen here, kid. I've been taking heat from my mother a lot longer than you have. Oh, too And another thing. This is my mother and father we're discussing. I'm no less involved than you are. No, no, I'm sorry. I apologize. Absolutely. I lapsed into my overprotective mode. Thank God you weren't Dorothy or she'd torn my head off by now. Well, that's what daughters are supposed to do, isn't it? Did I read my manual wrong? I... You're a good kid, Cassie. <laughs> and you're a good kid, too, Mal. <laughs> I'll go call David. Very much. I'll call you when I get my plans. Bye-bye.